Click the bell, turn on all notifications, and subscribe for around-the-clock WWE news in real time. The home of the most consistent and dedicated breaking news in WWE, Sean's View Ends, is here for you. Like, comment, and share today. In the annals of time in professional wrestling, and WWE, and well, hell, we can even bring up AEW because that's probably the closest to almost, almost competition that the WWE will actually see and be viable for. We have a lot of news and rumors to unpack, and we're going to do it right here because we're going to give you the sizzle, the scoop of all WWE rumors, headlines, breaking news, specials. We're even going to give you some hot takes right here on this very channel. Why? Because if it weren't for you, there would be no Sean's view. WWE star departing and potentially joining AEW being revealed. Now, this is right at the top of the show, guys. Right at the top of the video. This is why we do multiple videos a day to keep you in the know on the hottest, the latest, the greatest, the newest, the most dynamic, the most diverse. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to this one. This is fresh and worthy. Just coming out right now for everybody that is watching, hearing me, whether you're on a cell phone, a laptop, a desktop, a tablet, a TV, Sean View is your undisputed place to be. Listen to this update. Ladies and gentlemen, we all know we're getting ready. We're amped. We're willing. We're able tonight for NXT. Yes, tonight will be NXT WWE Battleground. But what are all the rumors and the news leading up to that very event, to that very pivotal event which will be held in an arena that is very notable to UFC. Right off the bat, though, WWE is being, WWE is accused, WWE accused by Ryback of spreading false information on other wrestling promotions. Now, can you believe Ryback saying this? Can you believe Ryback? Now, Ryback, listen, guy could have been a massive, huge star. He could have sold millions, buy rates, ticket sales, merchandise sales. The bottom just fell out for Ryback. And again, Ryback could have been one of those perennial football performers. The guy was over. They loved his gimmick. They loved his matches. They loved to feed me more. But as we all know, Ryback got sour at WWE, and there was a massive falling out between WWE and Ryback. But... On the Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer provided insight into the source of the, arena, the erroneous figures attributing them to WWE, contrary to notions that WWE remains indifferent to AEW, or that the rivalry is one-sided. Meltzer emphasized that the existence of a pro wrestling war between the two entities. He mentioned the seriousness of the conflict, which extends beyond the squared circle to encompass public relation battles and media manipulation as he accused WWE of planning negative AEW stories to the media. Now, in light of these accusations, Ryback decided to add his own thoughts on the matter. Ryback took to X or Twitter and claimed that WWE is notorious for spreading false information and not only about talent, but also about other wrestling promotions. He recalls that when he walked out and expressed his dis dissatisfaction, WWE immediately claimed that he was sent home. Then they used their partner publications to spread false information about him, tarnishing his reputation. Legal action was threatened, leading to the retraction of much of the misinformation. Now, uh, Ryback says those people are pure evil and will do anything to make their other lives more difficult and persuade their hardcore brainwashed faithful to start attacking. The truth always wins, and you must not back down from the evil empire or its glum gremlin bleacher bums now that is according to Ryback now I'm sure this will start you know start all a lot of debate a lot of accusations also we got breaking news on a massive WWE star joining AEW and is it going to be in in, in in droves is the game Triple H about to join AEW with a bunch of WWE stars one source who spoke with said that they were giving Rig Ricochet all the credit in the world for betting on himself. One would think he'll quickly be a hot commodity as a free agent. Now, Fightful Selects is reporting chatter among AEW personnel is suggested as interest in Ricochet joining their ranks despite his ongoing contractual duties with WWE. Furthermore, not only is AEW interested in Ricochet, but NJPW is also rumored to be eyeing at a potential deal with Ricochet. Will Ospreay has been very vo vocal about his desire for Ricochet to join AEW. 
Now, would that be a good idea, a bad idea? Would you be for it? Would you be against it? Also, WWE is being criticized of the handling of Ricochet. The wrestling community eagerly awaits Ricochet's next move, with many speculating that AEW could indeed be Ricochet's next significant career step. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Also, huge updates on creative control in the WWE. According to those in the know, remember to become a channel member today and donate with a super thanks donation below. The plans are being revealed to write Ricochet off television before his WWE exit, according to Fightful Select. Preemptive creative actions have been taken within WWE to facilitate Ricochet's departure. This was advanced by his loss of the WWE Speed Championship to Andrade during the recent SmackDown tapings. Alternative creative strategies are also reportedly being considered to write off Ricochet from WWE TV should the need arise. One proposal under discussion involves a storyline on Raw where Braun Breaker would incapacitate Ricochet. However, it's worth noting that creative plans are always subject to change. And that is why I have all the dictators and all the skeptics and all the haters coming on here all showing it's fake news. You don't know what you're saying. You don't know what you're doing. You're just clickbaiting. No, it's called changes. It's calling developments. It's calling going in a different direction. And this is why Sean's You provides to you multiple videos a day so you're always in the know. Also, Ethan Page was viciously attacked ahead of tonight's WWE Battleground. Yes, this is breaking news. This is just coming through right now. Be sure to like and comment on the video today and become a channel member today. It will help keep me on YouTube.com for as low as a dollar or $3 a month. Ricochet's future is in limbo following his notice of intent to depart from the WWE. Also, Gigi Dolan sidelined with a serious knee injury. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on Gigi Dolan being sidelined with a serious knee injury. In breaking news on SmackDown's The Bloodline, a potential new, new addition to WWE's Bloodline stable could be indeed on the horizon sooner rather than later. And Natalia introduces a new furry friend after a massive heartbreaking loss to one of her animals. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. One of her pets. And um, guys, we all know how dedicated and how admirable Natalia is to her pets. Uh, also, AEW COO Kosha Abibi slams AEW collision venue at quality as subpar. Adam Copeland addresses a possible character re re reinvention after his injury return. And AEW Collision for June 8th sees viewership decrease. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your premier home, your one-stop place for all WWE because if it's not brash, well, then it's going to be left in the freaking trash. Subscribe, become a channel member today. We do hourly videos. We do mul multiple videos a day. Why? Because we keep you in the know on all WWE. The face that books this place, the brash and the brazen.